I said this once before when I was with uh, Dave from One Man's Whip It that um, the big tyres take me back to being when I was a kid and I used to love having a Tonka truck. Those you know, yellow Tonka trucks that were almost unbreakable. And I think that's the excitement that I'm feeling now, even uh, at a few decades later than uh, when I was a wee lad. But uh, yeah, check that out. If this fits, we have here a BF Goodridge 10 ply 245 75 R16 rated at 120 which is more than enough to carry this van and a top speed of 116. Look at that gorgeous bit of rubber. Welcome back to Scooby D. So I'm just taking Scooby for a walk on this uh, fine English summer's day, and uh, I thought I'd do a conclusion to the uh, tyres. So if you want to watch this, you need to skip to the end of the video, uh, or you're going to watch the whole waffle of uh, the event of putting on the tyres, which is kind of fun. But yeah. Oh, you hear that noise there? That's the turbo. Um, Seems like every mechanic I speak to has got a different idea of what it could be. And then when I take it to the garage, they're all like, oh, you've got to change the turbo. But of course, I don't want to change the turbo at a thousand pounds if it's something else. So it's being a real headache trying to sort that out. And especially today, because today was supposed to be a fun day for me and Scooby, because we are getting some Scooby sized tires. Yes, I've done, gone and done it. I'm going to get some BF Goodridge tyres. Now I've spent three months researching this because I knew which ones I wanted to get to begin with but there's all these stories about them rubbing and the tyre that I want to get which is the 75 height wall, 75 wall tyre uh, some people say it rubs and some people say it doesn't so we're going to find out today if it rubs or not so we're here at Black Circle in uh, Stockport, which is actually part of the Morrisons, and it's quite interesting to just pull in. But luckily I've got a really, really fun chap with me. His name is Magic, check that out. And he's taken one look at my van and going, oh, I think those wheels are gonna rub. So we're here, we're here now, but what he said is we're gonna put one on the front and see whether it rubs when we put it on full lock. So that's really decent, the guy, and fingers crossed. So this is the tire, just check that out. I mean, I mean, have a look at that big tire against that tire and then we roll that into there obviously it's not central so it would be a little bit lower but look at that uh, so this is a um, Volkswagen um, crafter. crafter yeah I fitted these before to the long wheelbase crafters and they look amazing with off-road tires on yeah but obviously they've been lifted oh they'd all been lifted had they yeah they were made into uh, proper off-roaders uh, okay not campers, off-roaders. It's sounding like it's not going to work. This is what I'm picking up from our man Magic here. Well, we'll see. <laughs> so, as you can see, Scoob's there keeping a very careful eye on proceedings. <laughs> Making sure everything's going right. She wanted to get away to the Lake Districts today, but I don't think it's going to happen because they've got a bit of a turbo problem. <laughs> If 
you've got, sorry? 100 psi of pressure yeah. in one second. 100 psi? It's for Oh, I see. Wow. Oh, because the tyre's so heavy, you need to put 100 psi or up to that really quickly, otherwise it won't pop out. Okay, and then he fills up the rest. Look at that tyre. Oh, that means business. Whoa. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Oh my God, how, you should be wearing some earplugs, mate. I'm used to it now. Well, you say that, but you... Just every day, no stop, I start to hear now. Yeah, but you damage your ears later on. I play music while that. Wow, man. Oh, they're just about to come on. Well, after DJing for many years and uh, having loud headphones in my uh, left ear, and I've got a bit of ear damage, I really know, um, you know, being a middle-aged man, that you, you need to look after your ears. <laughs> the, the rim's a bit back, is it? Jump back on the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I see it, yeah. Well, it is a van, so it's probably used. Yeah. Well, it is a much trouble. Okay. I'm really hoping this is going to go right for me. <laughs> After having that turbo problem that's come up the last few days, I just want something to go right at the moment. Trust me, I know how it is to have a, have a project car. It's in place, looks good at the moment, but of course it is jacked up. This is the, the lift kit look. What do you think, Scoops? How are we getting on? You look very impressed there. Thanks, Hoops. How's Magic getting on? <laughs> You're doing a good job, Scoops. <laughs> Recorder. That looks quite... Uh... Tight. Does it? I was going to say it looks all right. <laughs> I mean, it is a bit close. So uh, Magic's going to try and turn the wheel and... Uh... We're going to see if we're lucky or not. So uh, Scoops has taken the, he's got got a cause frost. Oh, you're lucky. Is it not here? No. Is it not here? Oh shit! That out. What? But it might hit if I go. Downhill, round a corner. That's a possibility. I'm not saying it's 100%. Yeah. Oh, looks like something's going my way. Oh, I'm really happy if this works out. I've been so pissed off yesterday about this turbo. Come on, come on. Let's have it. Let's not drive down the road and it doesn't work. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Bang. There's a tyre. <laughs> That's definitely a tyre. Man, that, now that looks the biggest. I've been eyeing these up for two years since I saw my mate, one man the wicket, and he had alloys and these tyres, and I've been jealous since that. Alloys are the best, you just have to spend when you go off road. Yeah, well, I just like the normal, um, these normal wheels, I think they look they fine. They look better, because I mean, it makes you look utilitarian. Yeah. That might make it look better, like, say, if you've got a roof rack or a comfortable bar or something, it makes it look so utilitarian yeah. and nice. Yeah, yeah. No one has to become. Yeah, and also you sort of feel like you. Yeah, I mean, I didn't. I just thought these wheels were fine, these rims. So, oh man, am I lucky? I'm, I still don't believe I'm lucky until I drive out the courtyard. <laughs> Brilliant. Hey, Scooby. How are you doing? Forward to if we get to the Lake District and have a lot of walk and meet lots of people and have lots of fun. Excuse me. Are you looking forward to that? So I just talked to Magic here. We were just, he's from Poland and uh, he was saying that um, his, uh, his, his, what was you saying? My granddad and my grandma met in Auschwitz. Mad. Uh, and that was towards the end? Yeah, towards the end before the Russians took over. Because my granddad always used to say that when they got put in Auschwitz, they were already taken apart some buildings before the Russians took over. So getting rid of evidence. Uh, that's why when you go to all the camps, the infirmaries and the gas chambers are all destroyed. Uh, did they get out? Okay. The, both of them had the Auschwitz barcodes. Oh yeah. Numbers. 
Auschwitz barcodes. Yeah, yeah where, they, where they tell tell which prison they were and uh, which barrack they were in. Oh wow, and they're still alive now. Still, no, 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 no. Ah. Uh, my granddad died two years ago at 103 years old. Wow. My grandma died out of Alzheimer's. Yeah, yeah, oh, Alzheimer's. Called? Alzheimer's at 98. So there you go. You see, wherever you go, someone's got a story. You just got to find it. <laughs> That's what I love about people. You know, is everyone's got a story to tell. So I've got the uh, tyres and I've tried them on the road and my initial excitement about it not rubbing at all is a little bit short-lived. Um, they do rub a, a, a real small fraction just on the back corner when you've got it on full lock. So what we're doing is we're taking off the plastic, um, uh, the just a little corner here, I don't know if you can see there, you probably can, that um, there's a bit of rubbing going on here. There, so we're just going to cut that little corner out um, and we've done it to the other side and the other side's not rubbing now. This side I think does travel a fraction more so it's a case of um, hoping that that works and of course when the tyres have done a couple of thousand miles and they're worn down their you know the initial bit hopefully that'll be fine but we'll have to see. Obviously if you're going around a corner and you're going downhill and you're on full lock which is quite rare but it can happen then maybe um, you might see a bit of rubbing, but um, let's hope. <laughs> So, as you've seen, um, I've cut those two bits of corner of the plastic mudguard off and that has given the clearance, you know, it's given it that extra sort of five mil. Um, when the van is parked and you put the steering lock on full. However, when you turn a sharp corner, does the weight of the van then, you know, push into it and make the lock tighter? So we're going to go slowly to begin with. Full turn here. Okay, so that's full turn. And that doesn't sound like it's rubbing. But it was the left-hand side that was rubbing a little bit more. So, we're going to try that out. The wheels themselves actually feel really, the tyres themselves, sorry, feel really good. The road feels um, a little bit more firm but also softer at the same time. I guess that's the extra amount of air that's in the tyres. Alright, so go to full lock. Oh yeah. Okay, so that, that is rubbing. Full lock on the left is rubbing against the, uh, the metal um, now. Just slightly, maybe a mil or two. Okay, so I'll have to think about that. I think um, we'll live with it for a, a month or two. Be careful on the left lock turns. Um, keep an eye on it. And uh, if, it, if the tyres wear down a bit and it works, fine. If not, we may have to look at some other things like maybe a small 10 mil spacer or something like that. But yeah, in conclusion to the, uh, the tyres, which are the BF Goodridge all-terrain KO2 two four five centimeter R16s 75 10 ply tires that's the full name of them in case you're looking well in conclusion do they rub yes they do but only on the left hand lock on full lock and turning into a corner where there's a bit of pressure they don't rub when you're doing a three-point turn but when you turn into a corner you do get a bit of rubbing as you'll see in the video so you'll have to check that out um, road noise well I haven't tested them completely um, through lots of different road services surfaces but um, I can say that they are not much louder than the tires I had on them the sound is different the tires I had before were like a road noise like a, a mid-range um, road noise what you'd expect from tires whereas these are more of a slightly lower whirr whirr type sound which is the tread going over the road but it's not that bad it's so far it hasn't annoyed me but i haven't had it on all different surfaces to give it a full test just yet um the cost well they cost me 670 pounds fitted which is not cheap but if you were to buy a good pair of tires 
for your van, you're probably looking at £100 each tyre, so that's £400, so I spent an extra 270. They're supposed to last 50 to 60,000 miles, which, you know, if I get four years out of them, I'll be happy with that at average mileage. Um, the looks, well, I think they look great. I think they look fantastic, and you'll see that throughout the video. Um, my surprise when they go on. Uh, the practicality, well, let's see. Let's see that how practical they are. Um, as I say, I need to get back to you on that. Uh, fuel consumption, some people say that you lose a mile or two per gallon. At the moment, I get an average of about 29 miles per gallon out of the van, which is not bad. It's not particularly heavy uh, inside the camper conversion. Um, so, yes, uh, maybe I will lose a mile or two. I'll let you know on that in the future. Um, you do need to adjust the speedo. You've got to bear in mind that these tyres are about eight centimetres wider in diameter than the standard tyres that come on crafters and sprinters, which are 65 um, wall size. So yes, you will have to adjust the speedo a little bit. Um, I'm not sure exactly yet, but I fancy it's probably about, um, if you're going 60 miles an hour, it might be three miles an hour faster. So we'll have to check that. Um, yeah, and that's it really. So would I recommend them? Well, at the moment, yes. Um, I think that the, the slight bit of wear that I get on the left-hand side um, over a period of time will quickly um, go down that few millimeter that's rubbing and it won't be a problem. So it's a thumbs up from Scooby D. And the good news is, is that um, I've done a bit of research uh, on the turbo that I need to have fixed. The guy said to me it was going to cost £1,700 just for the turbo. So looking at over two grand to fix it. Well, that's for a new turbo because this one's the 163. It's like a double turbo. But there are companies in Germany that um, refurb these turbos for about £450, £500 sent over. So hopefully that will fix it. It's still going to probably cost me a best part of a thousand pounds though, which I'd rather be spending on camera gear or something more exciting than fixing a turbo that's prematurely broken. But these are the things, eh? These are the things.